Thank you, Booby. I think. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, they told me uh, since I messed up last night, they'd give me one more chance tonight. So. Anyhow, you having fun? Yeah. 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 We got together today. I want to introduce the musicians again to you because I can't do anything without them. I can't do anything with them either, but I can't do anything without them for sure. And I want to acknowledge that. And uh, I know you've met them 500 times. This will be 501. Start on the, the left end over there, the, the one that looks like a banker from Winchester, Indiana. <laughs> See, you don't see that frown? That's just like a banker. That's Kim McClary. Kim, wave you. Well, yeah, or something. And uh, in the center, uh, he's been up here all day, like Bob said. He'll go home and for three weeks his hand's going to be like this. But this is uh, Jean Pierre. That mustache looks like a gunslinger, don't it? <laughs> and uh, directly behind me is a great musician and a fellow steel guitar player and a good friend. Even though he talks funny, he's still all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> His name is uh, Ian Upton. Give him a I know you're wondering what I'm doing with this hat on, right? Kay Coster gave me this hat. Well, she didn't give it to me. She told me this afternoon uh, she wanted me to wear this hat tonight. And I said, well, I get to keep it? She said, no. I'm not, what am I wearing this for? So uh, I guess I'm going to give you an imitation of a Hawaiian Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really got it because I want to pass it. That's what it does. <laughs> two kinds of harmonics. One is played with a little pinky finger instead of the bar. And they're only playable on three frets of the guitar, basically. That's the 12th fret, the 7th, and the 5th. Now, this song that I want to do is called Kiwalo Chimes, and it was composed by Freddie Tavares, who was a great steel guitar player, and we lost him last year. But uh, I heard this, I was driving somewhere, and it was played on the radio years ago. And when I heard it, I just pulled over to the side of the road and stopped, because I couldn't drive and listen to this too. And I got a hold of record of it uh, many years later. And I think it's fascinating. It's in three parts, and nothing is used except this little finger. Now, the other harmonics I'm telling you about, uh, Ed Van Cleef did a beautiful job with those. They're called palm harmonics. They're played with this part of your palm. And the thumb pick. But this part of your this part of your hand has to be twelve frets of the guitar all the time. From the bar rather. See here's that's the fifth fret, that's the seventeenth fret. So when you move you gotta keep your your hand and your bar an octave apart all the time. Now, we're gonna go back to the Waller Giants and see if you don't think this is kind of an interesting thing. <laughs>
may not prove it, but I don't know what I wrote on it, so if you don't mind if I look. I don't know what's coming back to you, like you guys. Now, this is a beautiful song. Uh, well, it's mostly, I think, a different metal. I don't even know what it has But it's uh, made for Hawaii's two guitar, and I'd like to do it for you. It's a beautiful song, Hip Tide. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 
you hear me never forget it. We're going to go way back uh, with this tune. Everybody plays steel guitar, plays this thing in one form or another, and I'm going to play it in the worst form. You want my picture? Uh, where's my hat? I put my dollar bill in my hat. <laughs> if you got $5, you know, I'll send you the hat. <laughs>
Mary, hold him down. Okay. I'm going to move over here and uh, sit down. I'm tired. So I'm going to change uh, guitars here for a minute. And uh, somebody want to come up and where's Billy? Come on, Hat. Get him. Just, just talk to him. <laughs> For the moment. <laughs> I haven't hit many of these moments these days. All I can say to you now, isn't that really when it's fun and a little off? Isn't it really nice to hear good Hawaiian music? You know what? <laughs> My wife would love that I heard music that he plays. You know, you have no idea the fun that we had with Jerry here the other day. If you haven't been here with us, we just had a ball. Jerry was Jerry was here was telling us all about these songs that people always come up to request of them, you know. And of course they're always looking at it. Just about them give them five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, but he turns them all down, you know. Once they get to twenty five he starts to look seriously. <laughs> That's all right. He thinks of the poor Kate, he's back at home. Ah, uh, no. Jerry has been a teacher at Akuma. And you know, that's really what, what, what part of the fun is, you know. He actually started with the Hawaiian Foundation. There was a place up there, St. Louis High School, where he actually taught and started the big boys. And I'll tell you what, the interesting thing, you know, he starts with a fry pan. But you know what his hobby is? Girls. <laughs> That was years ago, no, Jerry. I didn't say women, I said girls. Do you still remember that? <laughs> I don't know. Some people are Lolo. Oh, I found him. He loves to bake. Did you know that? He's a baker. He's a baker. That's right. And you know what? He takes his bread to Japan. And <laughs> we'd love to be able to take anything to Japan and sell it. <laughs> Although I understand he gives it away over there, you know. <laughs> but that's all right. We know that he's got a lot of traits. And one of them is with this instrument that they call a fry pan. I'm going to shift into B11 to you play some all-time island favorites. First one is Sam.
another uh, standard, see if we start doing it away. This was the original jazz tune, and I don't really know that anybody knows how it made its way to Japan, but it ended up being a, a favorite steel guitar instrument. And if you can play sand and how'd you do, and want to chime, you got a job in the way. <laughs> At least I had one. I, I got to tell you, my students are calling me up. Hey, Jerry, can you come stop to me next week? I said, you smart kid, you. <laughs> they do. Yeah, they do. I got to stop. You know, if you're Casey play, right? He called me last week. He said, Jerry. I said, Casey. That's the way he talked. He said, hey. If you sub for me next week, I said, you smart aleck, no. <laughs> he laughed, I said, yeah, I'll sub for you. They're going to Japan, and uh, he's taking Barney Eisen's place next week. They're going over and do uh, three or four days of the White Call shows, originating from Japan. So when I uh, see my boys making that kind of headway, that's all there is, right? So they know I'm kidding. Thank you. 
ないかよ
fast as you get it over with. <laughs> kind of like taking a pill, you got to take it in. <laughs> I got to do that Scotty sitting over here, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
20 minutes. <laughs> no, he, no, he did. No, he told me to stay up here all night. I wanted to, but I want to. <laughs> anyway, that's all we had worked out. We didn't have much chance to rehearse, and I, again, wanted to point to these guys back here because it's tough on them. Uh, this is no easy job, and many of you know that. And uh, I just want to express my thanks to them again. Ian, uh, He's been my band boy all this week, uh, trying to get these guys together, and they've been busy backing up everybody here. And that's the way it is when you're popular and good, right? So they're the best, and uh, and I appreciate it, guys. Of course, I'm not going to send you any mango bread. But... Keep it going. And I'm going to run out of gas pretty soon. 